This is a curl snake. It specializes in eating other reptiles. But this is not the snake I'm after today. It gets much larger than this one. It's called the black-headed python. My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. The carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. The black-headed python is found across the northern half of Australia in this kind of typical dry eucalypt scrub. Habitat suited for a whole host of its typical prey, reptiles. There's a little valley coming down here and I reckon there's a dry riverbed, which is obviously where most of our animals will be congregating. But let's head down there and see if we can find our black-headed python. All right, here we go. Exactly as I expected that we've now got a riverbed. It looks pretty dry, but still the animals will be down there because it's nice and cool. It's starting to heat up and the black-headed python actually uses jet black head to get a little bit warm, just stick his head out of a burrow system. Ah, being a dragon. Look down on top of that log. He's just basking there. Woo, got him. And you can see why they're called the bearded dragon. That little beard there on that chin. And often when they feel threatened, they'll puff up and show that throat. And often what you'll notice as well, a bearded dragon, in order to get that sun as absorbing as quickly as possible, they'll actually flatten out their body like that. We're gonna say happy hunting to you. And bearded dragon, yes. There's just so many areas of these snakes might be hiding. And like with all blitzes for snakes, it means searching in every single possible home. Snake! Woo! Yes! Okay, come round here. We've got a black-headed python. This is unbelievable! Wow! This is so unusual to see a black-headed python out in the wild doing what it does naturally. Burrowed into this hollow trunk there, which is nice and cool, got its black head out, absorbing some of the sun. That black-headed pythons, they use that black head in order to be like a solar panel. It's their way of getting their body up and running. And actually, just by having pretty much just his head emerging from that trunk, it allows him to keep the rest of his body hidden away from any potential predators. I don't know about you, but I really want to see how big this black-headed python actually is. So I'm going to gently coax him out. Woo! Yes, there you go. Black-headed python. Snakes have this amazing kind of ability to realise when they're not being threatened, generally speaking, then they calm down. You can see now, this is quite a large black-headed python, and they would be able to eat quite large prey. I remember that curl snake earlier this morning. That would be a perfect prey item for the black-headed python. But you'd think, well, how does a black-headed python actually consume one? Well, black-headed pythons, for whatever reason, we scientists don't even know, but they're completely immune to all of the venomous snakes out here in the bush. So the most venomous snakes in the world will not be able to kill the black-headed python. For some reason, their blood, their antibodies are able to cope and destroy the venom properties. They've actually got an incredible ability as well to snuffle in other burrow systems and even dig down with their rough jaw scale, their nose scale, which they're able to pretty much bulldoze their way through. Wow, look on the branch right behind you. There's a bearded dragon just getting a bit of sun. So that bearded dragon is adult size. The one we saw just earlier was a baby. That's how large they get as they get into adulthood. And the black-headed python would certainly love to eat that bearded dragon. You never know. We're not going like, to mess with nature. I'm going to release the black-headed python back to where he was, and the bearded dragon may accidentally get into the path of one of the most incredible reptile predators in the world. Woo! I'm just in awe of this snake. They really are. I mean, out of all species of snake in the entire world, the black-headed python is one of the most gorgeous and special animals. It's like they're on a different league as the others. It's almost like they've been designed. You are absolutely precious. All right, let's put you back. Woo. Our second python in Australia. The black-headed python? Yes. 